ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದುಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತ್ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದೋ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರೆ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ಣ ದೇಹ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ವದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಾಗ್ರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಂಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮು ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವ ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ದೇಶ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇತ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇತ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಶ್ರೇಯಮುತ್ತಮ ಶಬ್ದೇ ಪರೇ ಚ ನಿಷ್ಣಾತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಉಪಸಮಾಶ್ರಯ 
तस्मात् गुरु प्रपद्ये तो जिज्ञासु श्रेयमुत्तमम् शब्दे परिच निष्णातम् ब्रह्मणि उपसमास्रेयम् गौरीय गोष्ठी भवति सिसिल भक्ति सिद्धांतो सरस्वती गुस्सा मिठाक पहुँचा परमंश जगतगुरु टोल टू गेट एस्टैब्लिश इन द आचार आदर्शो शिक्षा of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is called Vastavik Diksha. To accept the Achar Adarsha of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a symptom of actual preacher. Actual preacher, you can preach, you can act as a preacher, you can do preaching seva, when you are totally established in the Acharan Adarsha of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Shiksha, if we are totally established, then we can become a preacher. Preaching can automatically can be done very easily. The sloka I started with is very important, but the unstable situation of this material world cannot allow it to get, you know, right direction. Unstable situation of this material world, always hesitation, always hesitation, always some sort of doubt, suspicion cannot allow you to approach in the right direction. This is the usual condition of this material world. Sometimes we think this is the proper channel through which I can understand, I can realize the absolute truth. Sometimes I realize this is the proper channel. Yeah. This is the proper channel through which I can get uh, the absolute message. I follow. After some time, I become fed up. No, it's not. I leave it. Then again, I am searching some other way out. I am following another way. After some time, I am following and hearing everything. After that, I am thinking, oh, useless, it's not good. Again, I am going to change my track. This way, my unstable condition cannot allow me to get bhakti. But one thing is very sure. One thing is very sure. If there is 100% demand inside my heart, if there is 100% demand inside my heart, I like to, I, I like to get that absolute truth, absolute message. If you have 100% desire inside you, then surely Balaji Maharaj can guide you. Popa speaking, somebody crying in front of Popa. I am not getting Sadhguru, what to do? My luck is very bad. Popa is an idiot number one. He is crying this way. Sadhguru you can get by the help of Nithyananda Prabhu, Balaram. Sadhguru only you can get by the help of Nithyananda Balaram. By your personal effort, I can check up. You can play your brain, you can, you, you can engage all your sense organ, eyes, where to go, how to... Uh, this guru is very nice, very tall figure, knowing Sanskrit. Ah, it's, it's, very, it's very good. That day I was speaking, maybe uh, one month before. One educated man from a high family, very nice family, he used to come to Chaitanya Mart to hear some Harikatha from Prabhupada. Again, after some time, five, seven days after again going off, going away. Again coming after 15, 20 days, one month after coming, saying some, for some days. After that, again going away. Unstable condition. Their luck is very bad. The man, I mean the young chap, watching, that Acharya going to the field. Acharya going in the field to check up all, uh, you know, to meet with this, uh, those who are doing cultivation, this, that. Ah, is not Acharya. If Acharya, then why are you going to field? 
Papa speaking, he watching me. Papa speaking, he watching me. I am going to feel to check up seva there. So he misunderstand me. He say he is going to feel. No? He is not achari. How possible? A one layman can do, uneducated man can uh, do some field work. That's why he going to leave Prabhupada forever and going away. After that, he is going to meet with some Sahaja Sampradaya. Again, he discovers his fall down in his life. Totally fall down. Now, at present, this is the main problem. <clears throat> Bhakti Muttaku speaking. Bhakti Muttaku speaking. In Jaiva Dharma, in uh, Chaitanya Sikhamita, everywhere you can find. Bhakti Muttaku speaking, speaking if I understand, if I understand a pure devotee as a non-devotee, maybe he is a nice devotee, but I cannot understand, I play my head, I am going to leave him, ah, you say that. <coughs> Bhakti Muta was speaking, to, to, accept, <coughs> to accept a bonded soul, fallen soul, as Sadguru, is also da very dangerous. And also, if you avoid one pure devotee, you misunderstand. <coughs> if you misunderstand, you think he is non devotee, he is also dangerous. Both way. <coughs> Bhakti Muta was speaking, Sadguru is always there. Bhakti Muta was giving guarantee, I can show you. <coughs> In Sajjanta Shani, what? Sajjanta Shani, what? Sajjanta Shani? Bhakti Muta writing. Sadguru is always available in this material world. It is due to our misconception, we cannot understand them. It is, it is due to our misconception, we meet a Sadguru, but we cannot, uh, we go away. Bhakti Muta was speaking. Sadguru is always there. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. But if you meet Sadguru, you cannot understand Sadguru. He eh? is not Sadguru. Bhakti Muta speaking. Because we like to play our brain, our educational power, our brain power, brain intuition, logical interpretation, all you have. You know, you are going to apply our own sense organ to check up a Guru. That's why we, we never, this way we can never meet with one Guru. This way we can never, we can never meet with one Guru. We have some mood of estimation, as a mood of check-up, we can check-up, we can see. Many times Popa told logical interpretation, many times Popa told logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that Absolute Truth. Absolute Truth is not devoid of devotion. Absolute truth is not devoid of devotees. Absolute truth, the absolute truth is not devoid of dham, nam, pal, because absolute, the, the absolute truth means Bhagavan. Bhagavan and his or paraphernalia, all his devotees, all his dham, all his nam, lila, parikar, all one thing. One Bhagavad Tattva. <coughs> but you cannot realize. That is the main thing. Badanti tat tat tvidam satyam yad jnana adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti shabdati adhyagan tattva adhyagan tattva doesn't mean it is devoid of unique diversity excellent transcendental diversity adhyagan to adhyagan tattva doesn't mean that adhyagan adhyagan tattva doesn't mean it is devoid of it is devoid of, you know, aprakita by chitra. By chitra, you know, diversity. Aprakita by chitra. So, adhyagan doesn't mean it is devoid of aprakita diversity. Aprakita by chitra is there. That's why many times Popa told to find some fault in aprakita by chitra with material brain is totally strictly prohibited. Follow. With your material band, if you like to find some fall in Aprakita Vaichitra, Aprakita diversity, 
with your material, when you apply, you try to find some fall in a prak in the Vaichitra, it is totally prohibited. Diversity in unity, unity in diversity, this is the Adhyayagyan Tattva. But nobody can. Achinta Vedavet Tattva. Now, point is that the sloka is started with Tasmad Gurum Prapadhita Jigyasu Sreya Uttamam. You understand Sreya Uttamam? Tasmad, that is why, after watching the instability of this whole world, Dirty condition. If I go on speaking about only Brahmacharya and Sanyas, Brato, you can be shocked. You can, you can feel very heavy. Only on Brahmacharya and Sanyas, Brato, if I go on speaking. Hello, how to control yourself? How to control yourself? All your sense organ, all your sense organ can take a turn inside eyes don't like to say anything external ear don't like to hear anything external hollow all inside all your sense organ going to change track going to run towards you know inside towards inside tatta uh, this inside tatta atma tatta when all your sense organ going to leave all external effort. When all your sense organ is going to leave all external effort, all, whatever, mind, intellect, all your body, all your hand, all six, you know, <clears throat> ganendriya and six karmendriya. Six karmendriya, hand, leg, everything, karmendriya, and six <clears throat> ganendriya, sense, sense organ. Five. All together, ten. Together with that, mind. Eleven. Oh, and all going to look inside, not going to work. They are going to refrain external effort. In that case, you can get chance. Otherwise, slight departure from the track of Brahmacharya. Slight departure from the track of a Vamajajya can scatter you, throw you, and you will have to give punishment. You have to give punishment. Everybody watching mobile, everybody watching mobile, unnecessarily, no need. Hello. This way, Prabhupada repeatedly told, not only told, Prabhupada wanted to drive away, he go away from temple. He go away from temple. Hello. Love, love, love letter was discovered. Love letter was discovered from the leg of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. He said, go away from here. I say, out from here. So how much restriction? Slight, my eyes going to look some Mataji with some slight deviation. Not, not, lead, not uh, as such, not problem, no problem. As such, no problem. But inside Gauranga Mahapu sitting, he watching. Inside Gauranga Mahapu sitting, he watching. He can show me. Like the case of Haridas Thakur. What problem was there, Haridas Thakur? Haridas Thakur externally have done no mistake. Internally, internal slight deviation. That's why Mahabha Mahaprabhu was bound to speak. Prabhu kahe more mon nahe more bosh. Prabhu speaking, my mind is not under my control. Mahaprabhu speaking, my mind is not under my control. I cannot bear any renounce order. You know, Brahmachari Sanyasi can, you know. Try to get some sensual enjoyment. Prabhu kahe more mon nahe more boss. Prakriti sambhashi vishnab na kore. I cannot allow. All nature, my body, your body, her body, all matter. Prakriti. Try to realize, many times I told before, 
all your body, whatever you are using, whatever you are using, whatever you are using, all matter, all prakriti, nature, all prakriti, your body, my body, everybody's body, everything, money, position, whatever, mind, inter, all matter, matter, all matter, your, even your mind is also matter, matter, prakriti, matter means prakriti, nature. You are going to lend, you are going to lend all your body, everything from Prakriti. You will have to give return. You will have to give return. When you go away, all your body will have to live here. And after that, all elements are there. All elements, five elements. <coughs> five elements are there. Kiti, Apotej, Manu, Mad, Air, Ether, everything's everything there. Teja, light, everything there. All five elements. And your body can decompose. Decompose, you know? Decompose. Your body can decompose and five elements can... You, you, will, have to, you, will, you will have to give return. All your five elements from your body. You will have to give back. So all nature. All nature. Even your intellect or what you apply. Brain, all nature. Prakriti. And your Atma... Is only Chinmoy. That is the only thing. But you cannot realize. It is there inside. But you cannot understand. By the help of that Atma, if Atma is not there, if Atma is not there, if Bhagavan is going to withdraw, if Bhagavan is going to withdraw all Atma, try to understand. Very scientific. If Bhagavan likes to withdraw all Atma, Chinmoy Atma, all spirit, all atma from this material world. Bhagavan, when, if Bhagavan likes to withdraw all atma from this material world, nature, prakriti can do nothing. Only matter left. Hello? Only matter left. If Bhagavan at a time, if Bhagavan at a time likes to withdraw all atma, all atma from this material world, all atma gone, infinity atma, then all matter, Useless, inert object, inert. Many times I told, if an iron bar, if I put into fire, it takes the form of a glowing fire. If I put an iron piece into fire, it takes the form of a glowing fire. And if you take out, this you know, iron bar can burn you, can burn anything. Why? Iron has no capacity for burning, but okay, it was in contact with fire, so the property of fire in turning into this iron bar, now it is capable, it can burn you. Follow what I say. Similarly, Atma is there inside this matter, that's why we find it is active. Follow, just like the example I give you. Atma is there, that's why all our activity is going on. I am learning, learning everything all. So Atma Tattva, so long as so long as you are not interested about Atma Tattva, you can never start Hari Bhajan. So long as you are ignorant about Atma Tattva, you cannot do Hari Bhajan. Hari Bhajan not possible. Atma Tattva means you can put question, who am I, where I can go, where from I am coming, what is the, what is the relation of, of Bhagavan with me, what is the nature, where I can go after living body, all this Atma Tattva. Like the case of Sanatan Gosai. Sanatan Gosai is the eternal Prasad of Gaurang Mahapo, still putting question, who am I, where I can go, why I am, you know, Suffering this kind of uh, confliction of three modes of nature. I'm Shataraja Ramagun can pu always putting me in trouble. Why? So, until and unless we are established in Satat Sataguna, first of all, you have to go to Sataguna. If Sataguna, if you are established in Sataguna, it is very good. Then you can try. 
After Satoguna, you will have to leave Satoguna and going to uh, get absolute Satoguna. Then it's okay. Absolute Satoguna you will have to get. So Tasmad Guru Prabhupada to Jigyasu Sriya Muttamam. Sriya Muttamam means self interrogation. Jigyasu Sriya Uttamam. Jigyasu means interrogation. About Sriya Uttamam. Uttamam means Sriya Uttamam means. About self inquiry. If you have no self inquiry, then you can play in this material world as it. When you can grow self inquiry, then you can approach one Sadguru. If your luck is very good, you can make one actual Sadguru. You can meet one actual Sadguru to get right information. If your luck is, you know, very bad luck, you cannot meet with one Sadguru. You cannot meet with one sir. Tasmat Guru Prabhupada to Jigyasu Sayamuttamam Shabde Paricha Nishnatam Brahmani Upasamasrayam. You will have to approach one Guru who is both verse both in Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma. Shabda Brahma means Ananta Param Kila Shabda Shastram. Shabda Shastra means all Shastra, you know. All Shastra is like ocean. Ananta Param Kila Sabda Shastram. Infinity ocean, Shastra. Be careful. Out of that, who can get the cream and give in your hand? You can take very easily. Not a matter of joke. That's why Sankar Bhagavan is speaking. So many people putting this question. Even in South India, I go into Brahmapuram, one sannyasi of Bhakti Vaiva Purigashi Maharaj put the same question. Why Maharaj is, why Maharaj Shankar Bhagavan speaking? Why? They are asking sannyasi, big, big personality. Maharaj, why is possible uh, that, you know, Shankar Bhagavan speaking this way? About Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. About Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, Shankar Bhagavan speaking. Aham Betti. Shuko Betti, Basho Betti, No Betti Ba. What is this? It's one kind of evolution. He is speaking, Shankar Bhagavan, I know Bhagavad Tattva by the desire of Bhagavan, by the mercy. I myself and Shuk, Shukdev Goswami is also coming. Aham Betti, Shuko Betti, Basdev Goswami, knowing or not knowing, I don't know. Huh? He is not sure about that. Come on, Basdev Goswami, Shaktave Shabhatar. Basdev Goswami compiling Bhagavatam. Of course, Bhagavatam eternally present, only expressed through Basdev Goswami. So, Sankar Bhagavan speaking this way. Aham Betti, Shuka Betti, Basho Betti, No Betti Ba. Bhakta Bhagavatam, Grajya, No Buddha, No Tikaya. By commentary, by brain, you cannot. Only by bhakti, devotional practice, pure devotional bhakti. Bhaktiya Bhagavata Graja. No buddhya, no tikaya. By commentary, by your intellect, you have very sharp brain. Only by bhakta aham ekaya graja. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking to Uddhav. Only and only by bhakti, somebody can know me. Bhakta aham ekaya labhya, only, the only, the only, the only way. <coughs> the only way of it. What is that? Bhakta aham, aham ekaya labhya. I can be known, I can be known only by pure devotion. Not by him. Now it's quite an evolution. They are putting question in front of me, Maharaj, how possible? Why is Shankar Bhagavan speaking this way? I say, you see, Shankar Bhagavan not speaking, Shankar Bhagavan not going to speak, the best, best know nothing. Shankar Bhagavan speaking, Basho Betti no Betti Ba. Because Vaisdev Goswami compiling Bhagavatam by the desire of Bhagavan. Shaksa Vaisavata. Follow. Now, suppose, one 
one festival here. One festival here. I engage you in cooking. I engage you in cooking. You are taking paramana, chana rasa, everything, whatever. You are dal, sabji, all chutney, sauce, everything you are making. Then if I ask you, what is the taste of paramana? You can say, I only cook. I don't know. Those devotees, they are tasting. You can ask them. Follow what I say. If I ask you what is the taste, you can say probably, probably, uh, probably, most probably is good. But I don't know because I, they are taking prasad. You can ask to them. So, Vaisdev Goswami is the cook man. He is the cooker. He is cooking. Vaisdev Goswami is tasting something, maybe sing, because it's while in course of, in course of, you know, you know, cooking, in course of his seva, cooking, how is possible? It's not possible, no? So, 12 Mahajan you can find. Shangur Narada Sambhu Kumara Kupila Manu Pralad Vishma Janaka Vishma Balir Bayasakim Bayam. There is no in the list, try to understand. In the list, there is a no name of Vasudha Goswami. Shangur Narada Sambhu. Shangur Mahabha Brahma, Sangur Narada Sambhu, Kumaro Kopilo Manu, Kumaro Sant Kumaradi, Kumaro Kopilo Manu. Sangur Narada Sambhu, Kumaro Kopilo Manu, Prahlado Bhishma Janako, Bhishma Balir Bhayas Kirbayam. That doesn't mean Vaisdev Goswami knows nothing. It means there is no confirmation. Bas can know, cannot know, we don't know, because he's a cook man. So when we can hear, until and unless, until and unless I am going to hear Bhagavad Katha from a realized soul, repeatedly I told, you forget. Until and unless I have the scope to hear Bhagavad Katha from a realized soul, with a realized realization, Bhagavad realization. I can come to discuss, I can start discussing about Bhakti Kumal Mohsen Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Kumal Mohsen Goswami Maharaj used to discuss Bhagavatam. And you always used to, I can start, I am not starting, I am in between, I like to touch something. He always used to speak that all the instruction of Bhagavatam, all the Siddhanta Vichar instruction of Bhagavatam should be there in applied form in my life. He used to say repeatedly, even in front of Madhav Goswami Maharaj, whom he used to respect very much. Maharaj, all the Siddhanta Vichar, all the everything, all teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam should be found in my life all in applied form. Then I am Bhagavatam. Then you can say I am Bhagavatam. Because Bhakta Bhagavat. I am Bhagavatam, then Bhakta Bhagavat and Book Bhagavat is there, Gruntha Bhagavat. So only Bhakta Bhagavat can understand Gruntha Bhagavat. Only Bhakta Bhagavat, who is a devotee Bhagavat, he can understand Bhagavat. One big professor of Bhagavatam, one big professor of Ved, Vedanta, he can have one erudite scholar, there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee. Otherwise, everybody could run them. Yeah, you teach me something. Foolish people running. But those who enter, they know. They know. We can go to such a realized soul where direct feeling of Bhagavatam. I told that in the sloka, started. Shabde Parichanishnatham. He is both, he is versed both in Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma mean. In course of doing seva, direct seva of Bhagavan, he has a direct feeling. Like Jiva Goswami Pa. He is serving the Radha Damodar. Jiva Goswami Pa is serving Radha Damodar. At the same time, all Shastra, all gist, all gist, all gist of Shastra is writing. Follow what I say. So it is the instruction. So it is the instru instruction of Bhagavan Sri Krishna to Uddhava. 
Tasmat Gurum Prapadit Jigasu Sriamatamam. If you if you are growing, if you are growing self-inquiry, if, if you are going to grow self-inquiry inside your heart, then you will have to approach a Sadguru. Shabdi Parichan Ishnatam. Shabdi Parichan Ishnatam mean Jivaga Sai Bhag writing. If suppose my guru is a very nice guru, Sadguru. He has no material attention, nothing, all totally doing. But if I put any question in front of my Guru Pad Padma, because he is not learning so much Shastra directly like Gorkhisar Bhajima. Gorkhisar Bhajima Maharaj can give answer to any Siddhanta Vichar. Gorkhisar Bhavaji Maharaj can, can give answer to any question. But he cannot quote from Shastra directly. Follow what I say. Like, Yesterday I told about uh, uh, Madhusudan Das Babaji Maharaj. Come on, Radharani is directly going to give kippa to him. Directly. Bread, milk, Radharani coming with milk and everything. Follow. He can give answer to all of your questions. But he cannot directly quote from Shastra. Because they are not reading Shastra. Harinam and Shastra, non-different from him. A Shabda Brahma, it's also Shabda Brahma. In the form of Shabda Brahma and a Nam Prabhu, they are getting everything. But if you are educated, you can say he is not quoting from Veda, he is not quoting from Bhagavatam directly, he is not quoting from Rama and Mahabharata, so he is uneducated. Come on, I can discuss about Prabhupada on 12th you know, December, I think. He one kind of evolution. This kind of dikha, when Papa taking diksha from Gorkhisar, it is one kind of evolution in the whole universe. I can discuss this point. So, if my Guru Padma cannot give answer from Shastra, then I can express some doubt. Oh, Guru Tap, Guru Dev cannot give any evidence from Shastra. Then you can grow some doubt about Gurudev, you can fall down. That's why Jiva Goswami is going to write some commentary on this slok particularly. Shabde Parechan Isnatham. Better you can approach one Guru who can give answer to your question, who can cut your doubt and suspicion by the help of Shastra and both can inculcate all your direct feeling of seva inside you. If Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj have no direct feeling about seva, because mentally he is doing seva in Vrindavan, manas seva, manas mentally, manas seva doing, and directly he is doing nam seva, this, that. If there is no direct evidence, if there is no direct evidence, no, no direct feeling, Guru Padma. So surely Guru Padma can inculcate, so surely Guru Padma can inculcate direct seva mood inside me, provided I am inclined 100%. Provided I am not a cheater. Provided I am not a cheater, Guru Padma can 100% can inculcate all seva mood inside me, direct feeling. Follow. That's why Jiva Goswami was speaking. Better you can approach one Sadguru who can give answer to your question. You can give different uh, evidence from different Shastra. At the same time, you can give you direct feeling through Diksha. If you are inclined, 100% not kapat. If you are 100% perfect, if you are not kapat, then Gurudev can, at the time of Diksha, can inculcate Seva mood. From then onward, you can discover, ah, I must do seva. Where is seva? Like Jagai Madhai. Jagai Madhai wants seva. I want seva. This is, a, this is the evidence. Don't become foolish. This is the evidence. After Diksha, one disciple, if you see seva mood, I like to do some seva. Then say, is Diksha is perfect. Then is Diksha is perfect. 
is no mood of seva, then there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee. So, and these are the rules. Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. Madhavigya Gurum Shantam. Madhavigya Gurum Shantam Upashita. Who is, who is having full knowledge, Krishna Tattva Vetta. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddha. Who is having full knowledge about me. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking in Suradhan. Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hai. <coughs> Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta who is... Having the full knowledge of Krishna Tattva, his guru. Same thing Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. You can take shelter of a, such a guru who is Shanta. Shanta means no material desire. And who is experienced, who has full knowledge about me, my Tattva. Follow. Same thing speaking. Our time is limited. Otherwise, I cannot complete. So, Sila Bhakti Kamal Mausun Goshi Maharaj, <coughs> the great Popat Parshat. Somebody can underestimate, somebody can underestimate, but Popa speaking, <coughs> Popa speaking, you, you can watch the mood of a devotee, <coughs> disciple. If the disciple is very much interested to take the chair of Guru Pāt Padma, many times Baba speaking, next day I can discuss, to like 12, 12 December. If you discover, one disciple always interested to take the acquire, to get, you know, acquire the chair of Guru Pāt Padma, he is Mayavadi. Next day I can discuss. <coughs> if they are interested about the title of Guru Pāt Padma, about the, you know, Designation about the chair of Guru Pat Padma is very dangerous. Very dangerous, 100% is like one doctor can touch and, sp and speak the disease. One once, doctor, you know, they need not touch your pulse. Even, even they need not touch your pulse. I can speak one doctor, Dr. Vidhan Chandra Rai was the topmost doctor in whole Asia, topmost doctor, or even in whole world, who was invited by President Nixon to for treatment. No doctor in America, Russia, France, Italy, they couldn't know. Finally, he's going to invite him by special chartered plan. He's going there for one day or for some hour, because he's also busy. Going to looking at the eyes and everything, not even touching. He's writing one medicine which costs 12 paisa, 12 paisa, that time. 12 paisa only. Only 12 paisa. Some uh, 10 or 20 uh, tablet. Well, it's okay. Well, ah, nothing. <laughs> only 10 or 12 tablets. One, one. You know. <clears throat> it's kind of, uh, okay. Oh, I like to do some seva to you. He said, no, I cannot take any seva. My country is poor country. So if you can give something, some facility to my country, India, that you can give. Come back. So if one material doctor is so powerful, I can speak one incident. Where you can laugh. <clears throat> there is in Calcutta, in the, when in Calcutta, if you go by taxi or any car, up to, you know, Howrah station, you can meet one place that is called Satyanarayan Park. This park name is Satyanarayan Park. His car is going, driver driving, he is sitting backside. Suddenly he is speaking, wait, wait, wait. The guy bar stop. He calling one boy, making tea, making tea. And a tea man, tea store. He called the boy, you come. Now what happens? Well, who is he? Is sitting up uh, because uh, because the shop is double up. They are selling bitter leaf, bitter leaf, pan, bitter leaf, chew, uh, bitter leaf, and down and a tea. Who is he? That is my father. 
he can die around uh, 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Eh? Watching only for understand. A father can die within 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Really so? He's living? Miracle. So my point is that if one material doctor is so powerful, what do you think about pure Guru Vishnu? He's material doctor, not devotee. So powerful, you can look at any, you and can understand. And pure devotees can make x-ray of your heart. Can make one x-ray of your heart, everything. So, Sila Bhakti Kumal Mohsen Goswami Maharaj, though somebody can underestimate for their preaching, somebody speaking for our preaching purpose, we are going to underestimate. This kind of answer they are giving. But nowhere in Shastra I find this kind of answer. They are giving this kind of answer. So why, why you used to criticize all great, great devotees? He is speaking, uh, it's, a, it's one kind of strategy of my preaching. But this kind of strategy of preaching we never heard in Shastra. Never, nowhere written in Shastra. That for my preaching I will have to criticize, you know, some Gauriya devotees criticize Prabhupada Bhaktivinoda Thakur. No, I never heard. No writing in Shastra. You can preach only by the power of Nityananda. If you have, if you have this kind of belief inside you, I am speaking Harikatha by the power of Nityananda Balaram, Prabhupada Bhaktivinoda Thakur. If I have hundred percent faith, nobody can stop my speech. Follow. And if I think I am speaking Harikatha, I am preaching, then I am not at all, at all a preacher. Then I am not at all a preacher. I am a fallen soul. Those who are going to deserve some credit, I can discuss, and because all at a time I cannot discuss. If I am going to deserve, if I am going to deserve all credit, if I am going to deserve all credit, for whatever I have done, excellent. If I am going to deserve all credit, if I am going to deserve all credit for what, whatever I have done in my life, in devotional life, that is the mood of a non-devotee. I should think, everything done by Guru Pad, Padma, Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur, all glories to Sisi Guru. When I am writing letter, Huh? Then I was saying, all glory is to Sisi Guru and Gauranga. But when writing the letter, inside letter, we are going to credit, demand something. Upper heading, any article, any writing, all glory is to Sisi Guru and Gauranga. That we are writing. That you are not ma making mistake. But when you are writing the main letter, then you are going to glorify you. I have done, gone there, this preaching, massive preaching, done this, that. <laughs> so you are foolish. You, you are writing all glories to Sisi Guru and Goranga. Why you are writing? You are foolish, number one. You are writing the first line, all glories to Sisi Guru. I mean, you are in ignorance. You are ignorant. You don't understand. All glories to Sisi Guru and Goranga, all credit should be gone, should, should, be, uh, uh, should be gone unto the lotus feet of Guru Goranga. But you don't understand. Men later we know writing. You are writing, I have done this, I have done this, I have gone there, there. All you are going to claim, demand your personal you know, credit, is not the mood of a devotee. The more you can do seva, like Sridhar Goswami, Bhakti, they never demand. Very humble. I am in Basasan, I can say, the kind of preaching done by Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, I am in Basasan. I cannot speak lie. If I speak lie, I can die. I can put guarantee. The kind of preaching done by Parambuja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, directly, indirectly. Directly meant by Harikatha or when writing. Nobody, we cannot compare anybody. We cannot compare anybody. We can, cannot compare anybody. So much. Actual preaching. I am not speaking about general preaching. I am, preach, I am speaking about actual preaching. I mean, the actual Siddhanta Vichara Gaurang Mahapu, actual Siddhanta Vichara Bhaktivinoda Prabhupada. That I mean to say. 
I am not going to count the number. Oh, this much. No. I am going to speak about the quality. Because actual preaching and quality should be same. Actual quality, actual preaching. So in this regard, I would say, we cannot compare anybody with Sridhar Goswami as a preacher. He is the topmost preacher. Actual preacher. Because by his preaching, because by his preaching, Goranga Mahaprabhu was very satisfied. By his preaching, Prabhupada was satisfied. By his preaching, Bhakti Minu Thakur was satisfied. That is the actual. That was the actual payment, na? If my Guru Padma is very satisfied with me, that is my actual payment. If Guru Padma is there, up, he is gone from the material world. It's from up, Guru Padma is watching me as a doing some seva. Okay. But he is satisfied. If Guru Padma is satisfied, then Bhagavan is surely satisfied. If Guru Padma is satisfied, Bhagavan is So somebody can underestimate. Because they have some money power, man power, so much. So they can underestimate about the preaching of Silo Bhakti Gman Mosun Goswami Maharaj. But I can never underestimate. Many times I attended, they invited me. At present, I have no time. <coughs> I speaking Harikatha there by their desire. So Bhakti Gman Mosun Goswami Maharaj actually took birth. In a very high class Brahmin family, eh? <coughs> Noakhali. One place at present in Bangladesh. Bangladesh at present. It's very good student, very good student. With honor, with honor, eh? with full honor, he get degree, school degree, high class. After that, he came. Because that was, that time it was undivided India. That time it was undivided India. So he came to Calcutta for higher education. Follow what I say. He came to Calcutta from your village, Bajitpur. The name of the, name of the village is Bajitpur. He came here naturally. There is no high school, no college, big school. So long ago. He came here in Calcutta to take education from Calcutta University. I mean, he was under the guidance of Calcutta University. City College. City College in Calcutta. He got degree, graduation degree, everything. And he was very strong in English. Philosophy, English, very strong. Immediately after you know, getting degree, Due to his high class degree, some newspaper company, Amrita Bajar Patrika, Amrita Bajar Patrika, he got service there. They invite you, you come as a sub editor, sub editor, editor and sub editor. Very good in Bengali, English, very good. His sensitivity was so high that we cannot compare with anybody. Very high. And from the very beginning of his life, a very inquisitive attitude. Inquisitive attitude. Follow. His name was Nipendra Nath Sanyal. Nipendra. His name was Nipendra Nath Sanyal. Sanyal? You know? One of the disciples. Nishikanta Sanyal. One disciple of Prabhupada. He also sanyal. He came in renounce order, he was in home. Anyway, Nishikandra was a, he was also a big professor. Anyway, so from there he coming and got degree and got the service at the year, at the age of twenty-two only. Only twenty-two years. He got service. He is doing service, very nice. At the same time, once one exhibition was opened. One big exhibition was opened in Calcutta, Gauriamat, Gauriya Mission. So as a reporter, as a reporter he was sent. Follow. Amrita Bajar Patrika, you know, hear me. Amrita Bajar Patrika, locality, 
locality of this Amrita Bajar Pratika office is just near my previous ashram. I, I mean, just near Bhagavad Gauriya Mission. So, so, the director going to, you can go. We can print some. So, they are all one team, one team of reporter, one team of reporter going to Bhagavad Gauriya Mission, one team of reporter going to Bhagavad Gauriya Mission to collect some news from there. So, there is exhibition. So, the, there is guide man also. Exhibition because common people cannot understand what is written there. So, guide man there. So, they are reporter all going there. They are putting a why this is, why this, why, what is the meaning of this? They are putting right. Then, they are putting one critical question in front of a small devotee. Small devotee speaking, actually, I cannot give full answer to your question. But our Gurudev, Paramahansa Sela Bhakti, and uh, Siddhanta Saraswati, he is there in his bhajan kutir. If you like, you can meet him. I can give info. Because the small boy cannot give full answer. Give answer, but in detail answer. He can give answer. But detail, they need detail answer. Because newspaper man, you know, lawyer, newspaper man, they are very critical. They are always putting so critical question. So, I say, I am a small boy, so I can take. Then finally what happens? They inform Prabhupada from some, some, uh, some reporters, I mean one group of reporters coming from Amrita Bajar Patrika. They like to get some special information about this exhibition and everything. Prabhupada says, okay. Then they are going to enter into the room of Prabhupada. When they look at Prabhupada, when they look at Prabhupada, they are shocked. Oh, shocked. Oh, so super personality. His lotus feet, they are watching. They pay down the what? Sit. Yes. Then they went on. They went on putting one by one question. And Pope was like lion giving answer. Like lion giving answer. Among those reporter, Bhakti called Mohsun Goswami, I mean, Nipendra Nath, Nipendra Sanyal, very much impressed. You see, this kind of answer. I have never in my whole life never seen this kind of powerful sadhu. Like light emitting, some ray coming out of, like sun god. He was very much impressed. And after hearing all uh, answer of all questions, they are very happy. Then, Popat, could realize the heart of, but that was the first time, but that was the first time, that was the first time Nipendra Nath, Nipendra Sanyal meeting with Prabhupada. But not that was the first time. Then onward, whenever he is going to get any, make up any time, he is going to meet with Prabhupada. He cannot forget, he cannot forget the picture, effulgence, power of Prabhupada. He used, used to come. One day he took decision to I must sell I must sell my heart and soul unto the lotus feet of this Mahapurush. I must sell my heart and soul unto load my head unto the lotus feet of this great personality, super personality. He is going to express Prabhupada. If you give shelter unto a lotus feet, then I can leave all my service, everything. I don't like to do any service. I like to serve your lotus feet. Baba speaking well. In 1926, uh, 19, uh, 19, he took 26. He took Harinam, Diksha. After that, he got red, red, red clothes also. Because Popat can realize. Popat, Popat waiting. Ten years, Popat waiting ten years to give saffron cloth, red cloth. Popat waiting at least ten years. But sometimes it happens so, Popat giving sannyas within two years. Like Bhana Goswami Maharaj. Bhana coming, Harinam, Diksha, 
red cloth after the sannyas all within two years. Sridhar Goswami Maharaj <laughs> is miracle. Why Pope are doing is Pope are doing. Bhakti Pradip Tito Maharaj, I can discuss about him. Pope are not waiting. Pope are not waiting. Bhaikhanus Goswami Maharaj, they were not waiting. But about, you know, not waiting. Very shortly. Otherwise, Prabhupada waiting for 10, 20 years to watch the character and behavior of the devotees. Follow. After that, Prabhupada can take decision to give sannyas or red cloth. That Prabhupada, okay, you can come. Giving Harinam, Diksha, everything. After that, as a Brahmachari, his name was Narottamananda Brahmachari. His name was given Narottamananda Brahmachari. Prabhupada was well aware. Prabhupada was well aware about the quality. Prabhupada was well aware about the quality of that disciple. Prabhupada was, Prabhupada was not foolish. So, Prabhupada was going to send him for different preaching field with Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj, sending, go, you can go. Bombay, here, there, South India. South India, so many places. You don't know, Madras, here, there, so many. Kabur, Kabur, Kabur. Oh, Papa sending for preaching. Bhakti Gwan After Prabhupada, after Prabhupada, next to Prabhupada. By that time, Prabhupada was, by that time, Prabhupada was not, uh, no, Prabhupada was, Prabhupada was there in this world. Then preaching going on under the guidance of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. So, next to Prabhupada, Maharaj used to honor Siddhar Goswami Maharaj from whom he got sannyas. Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, he used to honor. God brother. Even, even, even Narottamananda Brahmachari, even Narottamananda Brahmachari, I mean ah, Bhakti Kumal Mahasuran Goswami, his heart was so great, he was bound to confess, he was bound to confess that when I am hearing Harikatha, when I am hearing Harikatha from Parambuja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, I, I think I am hearing from Prabhupada. He told, here's a comment. He, he was bound to pass comment. This kind of heart you see, no master, no jealousy, nothing. He was bound to say, when I am hearing Harikatha from Parambuja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, I think I am hearing from just from Prabhupada. Same quality. Follow. This kind of heart is rare. Now there is jealousy, fighting, ah, useless, ah, useless. If there is one very nice devotee, then they can kick him out of society, ah, you are useless. You are not our is it? politics. Politics, politics is not bhajan. Dirty politics is not bhajan. Those who are very expert in politics, they should join political field. Why they are coming here to contaminate this field? They should go and join political level. So, successful preaching. Kirtan, preaching, very enthusiastic way. Very enthusiastic way. Finally, he went to Bombay because our Prabhupada asking, Bhakti Kuman Mahasuran Goswami, you can go for preaching in Bombay. From South India, they go to Brahme. And Siddhar Maharaj was also there. Different places, they are preaching very scientific way. All people around Bombay, all around Brahme, uh, they are impressed, they are feeling. And some engineer, engineer means not engineer. Title, his title is engineer. He is not mechanical engineer, electrical, not engineer. Engineer is title. Some engineer, 
he was a solicitor general of india finally he went uh, back to his country i mean maharashtra he was a president of some big society i forget he invited gauriamat all gauriamat they invite to speak harikatha in that assembly our bhakti kon mose i mean narottam anand brahmachari from the sidhar goshi maharaj all big big personalities are speaking harikatha enthusiastically all educated people they are feeling so much power by hearing harikatha finally what happens they invite prabhupad finally they invite the society on wide prabhupad your your acharya can come here prabhupad okay i can go finally prabhupad going to bombay <coughs> Finally, Prabhupada going to Bombay for preaching. By looking at Prabhupada, by hearing all, by looking at Prabhupada, by hearing all, you know, Siddhanta Bichar of Prabhupada, they gone mad. Then engineer that that important personality, they are requesting Prabhupada. It is our request on behalf of our society. on behalf of our society we request you to open one gauriamat here branch of gauriamat here in bombay papa said well we can try then papa is going to confer the responsibility <coughs> sidhar goshi maharaj and specially to bhakti kon mosur because sidhar goshi maharaj in a papa papa now personally Prabhupada now personally talking with Narottamananda Brahmachari. Prabhu, would you mind? Would you mind if I am going to entrust, if I am going to entrust a responsibility of Bombay preaching to you? Would you mind? You can stay here alone. Then Bhakti Gopal Mohan Goswami speaking. Tomar shabai dukho hai yato seo to param su. any amount of problem coming in my life to serve your lot of speed i am very ready gladly gladly i am going to accept he is speaking give one kirtan of bhagri jin by bhakti mr thakur tomar shebhay dukho hai yo to seo to param sukh bhakti mr thakur writing kirtan and in your seva any amount of problem coming in my life i can accept it gladly i can invite well then bhakti gol mohan goes was speaking i am a neophyte devotee i just come not long but your direct association is giving answer maharaj i mean narottam anand brahmachari who became later on who became he is giving answer to bobad though i know though i know it very well that your direct association can bring a change in my life can give power to me i know because i am a new devotee i am not old devotee but still but still i have strong belief that you cannot cheat me mara speaking still i believe that you can never cheat me if i am staying long away from mu is extreme east extreme east zone extreme east na bengal bengal na foolish extreme east east zone and extreme west zone west zone in india in india in india extreme zone is bombay bombay extreme east zone uh, west zone extreme india long distance more than 2 2000 km but still narottam brahmachari narottam anand brahmachari agree then prabhupad was very happy prabhupad people prabhupad used to prabhupad used to check up prabhupad used to check up all the preaching record prabhupad used to check up all the preaching record there prabhupad used to check up hello record mean that time there was no record or nothing <laughs> Record mean, and the, ha, uh, and in report. Papa was very happy. 
Because as a reporter, as a reporter he can speak in English also. As a reporter he can surely can speak in Hindi. And in Bengali he can know. Automatically. So by hearing this kind of record, Prabhupada was very, very happy. And from Gauriya mission, Prabhupada is going to send one parcel in which there are 12 canto Bhagavatam. Prabhupada is going to send all 12 canto Bhagavatam with one, with one blessing letter. One blessing letter, Ashirvat Patra. After receiving, after receiving that parcel, Narottamananda Brahmachari started dancing. Popa sending me Bhagavatam. I think I am not fit. I think I am not fit to touch Bhagavatam, but Popa sending me with blessing. So from then onward, from then onward, Narottamananda Brahmachari took it granted that Popa is going to bless me to preach Bhagavatam and try. Popa wanted to, Popa wanted to construct. Prabhupada wanted to construct my character and life according to the instruction of Bhagavatam. And according to that, Prabhupada is going to give me instruction to preach Bhagavatam. I mean, the letter of Prabhupada is going to, the, I mean, the letter of Prabhupada is going to directly indicate me, you can build up your character according to the instruction of Bhagavatam and try to preach Bhagavatam. Follow. He's going to grant, he's going to accept this way. So he started preaching with enthusiastic way. Even Siddhar Maharaj and other Maharaj, after hearing the interpretation, interpretation, interpretation of Bhagavatam, they confess that Narottamananda Brahmachari, <coughs> when explaining Bhagavatam with full reasoning, with full reasoning, full idea, Siddhanta Vichar, very nice. Even Siddhar Maharaj, even Siddhar Maharaj was bound to speak. His recitation of Bhagavad is very good. <clears throat> Follow. After that is preaching. By the effort of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj and Bhakti Kuval Mahasan Goswami Maharaj, <clears throat> one branch of Goryamat was established in Bombay. <clears throat> now the temple they sell, they go to some other place. At present, Gauriya Mission is going to sell that old place. It is Hunuman Mandir. It was in <coughs> Western zone. They come to the Eastern zone of Bombay. Near Guru Nanak Hospital. Guru Nanak Hospital, Bombay. They go. They sell that place. <coughs> that was old place actually. Not glamorous so much. But the place was very congestion. Very popul population was very... Anyway, this way preaching started, this preaching done, very enthusiastic way. Many people from that zone took shelter onto a little speed of Prabhupada. Finally, one painful news came that Prabhupada le left his body. The day coming down. First, 31st December or 1st January. As you like him. 31st December and first, because night time, Prabhupada is going to Nishantulila. 3.30 like that. Prabhupada leave body. So according to Beng Bengali Katina, you can say it is oh, it is actually uh, 31st December. According to English, after 12 o'clock night, Prabhupada leaving body. Immediately he ran from that place and coming to attain the Biraha Utsab of Sila North, uh, of Sila Prabhupada, very nice. The shedding tears, Prabhupada gone. After that, so many problems was there because Maya, Maya not going to excuse us. Maya always fighting. Power of Maya Devi, I also fear. Power of Maya Devi, all the time. I pray. Always I pray. So, Maya can do anything. Maya can do anything. Nobody can put challenge. Even Shankar Bhagavan cannot put challenge against Maya. 
Even Shankar Bhagavan cannot put challenge against Maya. Cannot put. Anytime Maya can grab you. After Prabhupada gone, some problem took place. I don't like to discuss. It is due to Jogumaya's planning, you know, otherwise preaching cannot be done, cannot be done extensive way. That is why preaching done. Finally, what happens, you know? Not tomorrow, because temple was divided, you know the case? Eh? 4060. Not 50-50. 4060 division. After that, Bombay Mott was there in their group. So, Narottama Brahma, Narottama Ananda Brahmachari and Bhaktalak Paramahansa Maharaj. <coughs> Both of them started preaching under the guidance of Kesha Goswami Maharaj. <coughs> Both of them started preaching under the guidance of Kesha Goswami Maharaj. And Kesha Goswami Maharaj, very long I told, long ago, before the, before the come to preach with before they come to preach with Kesho Kesho has established, uh, you know, Gauriya mission long ago, I told you. Bosphara land, in my previous home, land, there. So, Gauriya mission under the banner, under the, under the banner of Gauriya, under the, Gauri, under the mission, under the, under the you know, banner of Gauriya Vedanta Samiti. Under the banner of Gauriya Vedanta Swamiji, they started preaching. By that time, Kesha Goswami also acquired land in Tegori Para, where you go with me for him. Speaking Harikatha, hearing Harikatha, in Navadip Dham, you know, Kesha Goswami, Devananda Gauriya the land was acquired. But anyway, two god brothers going to help him in preaching. The condition was there that only Kesha Goswami can give initiation, but Two God brother, I mean, uh, I mean, Bhaktala Paramahanswara and Narottamananda Bhamuchari, they are not going to make any disciple. Under the banner of Gauriya Vedanta Samhiti, they have started preaching. So the preaching of preaching style, representation, I mean the preaching style of Narottamananda Bhamuchari was so nice, by his preaching, two Important, you know, devotee like our Tibikam Maharaj, Tibikam Maharaj, and Sila Narayan Maharaj. Both of them came by the preaching of Narottamananda Brahmachari. They come and join this Gauriya Mish and uh, Gauriya Vedanta Samiti, took shelter. Follow. So, big preacher. After some time, there was some difference in opinion. After some, after some time, some difference in opinions was there. So, they wanted to settle down. They wanted to settle down. They wanted to settle down the matter. They invite, they invite, they, they invite, you know, our Bhakti Dita Madhav Goswami Maharaj. Madhav Goswami Maharaj going there and going to discuss with them, hearing all case. Because they are all lion, you know. They are all lion. Kesha Goswami lion, they are lion, every villa, all lion. So, Maharaj speaking, since, since Kesha Goswami Maharaj is senior, and at the same time, Gauriya Vedanta Samiti was established by him already, so, it is good, it is my advice, that Kesha Goswami Maharaj can stay with Devananda Guri Maharaj, he can run under his acharyaship, under his Acharya Sip, he was, he is going to make so many disciples. But now it is not possible to divide the one. So Devananda Guru, but they can, he can run. So, and Narottamananda Brahmachari, our Madhu Goswami is speaking, personally, 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 I can help him to acquire one land, piece of land in Mayapur. Eh? One piece of land, but... Um, uh, it was cost. Uh, that time uh, land was not so costly. So then, Pannama, one mother, one Mataji, one Mataji, who took Diksha, who took, who took Diksha, one Pannama, who took Diksha from Paramita Keshav Goswami Maharaj, 
but the preaching was done by bhakti, you know, alak, uh, bhakti, Kamal Mosun Goswami Maharaj. So, Pannama was ready to pay a sizable amount. Pannama was ready to pay a sizable amount so that Maharaj can establish one temple. And Madhav Goswami say, I personally can help you to design the temple, to make construction, I can help you. So they agree. At present, Maharaj can start preaching there in Bardhaman, Mithapukur, but there are two places. Our Bhakti Kamal Mohsun Goswami Maharaj started preaching in Bardhaman, two places. One place was very dangerous place, he lived that place, another place is shipped, there are also dangerous place. Third place was Mithapukur, where I went many times to speak Harikatha. Mithapukur. Two places, he shipped, but that place was very dangerous place, material place, very material. So, so from there he started preaching all over Badhuman here, there, and finally by the help of Bhakti Vidya Madhav Maharaj, he was successful to open one mod, construct one, construct one temple here, very nice temple here, by the personal assistance of Srila Bhakti Vidya Madhav. And Bhaktalok Paramahansa Maharaj, he was giving a big amount of money to Paramahansa, to Bhaktalok Paramahansa Maharaj, by Kesav Goswami Maharaj. Kesav Goswami gave amount. He opened one temple here. Bhaktalok was here. Just after, you know, our mat, uh, Sarabhuj mat, before Sarabhuj mat. So, six and Mahaprabhu there, na, one temple. Are you foolish? Six and Mapa, we don't know. Just before that, God side, that side. Follow? They yes, said. This way, problem was settled down. But one speciality of Selak Narthamananda Brahmachari, he used to honor his senior God brothers from heart. He used to honor Pajmaj Keshogasi Maharaj. He used to honor. Bhakti Rakha Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Shiksha Guru. You see the mood of, you see the mood of God Brother. You see the mood of God Brother. He is going to see, he is going to accept Kesav Goswami Maharaj, he is going to accept Kesav Goswami Maharaj and Siddhar Goswami Maharaj as his Shiksha Guru. You see the mood. At present, jealousy. At present, jealousy. One god brother preaching, they like to kick him, kill him. This is the condition. This is a condition now. Now this kind of condition prevailing everywhere. They cannot tolerate actual preaching. They cannot tolerate actual preaching. Actual preaching means all the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada and Bhakti Vinutya. Nobody can allow. They can speak, they can speak Harikatha according to their own conception. They are not speaking about Prabhupada. You show me. If you challenge, you show me any Harikatha, any writing, you show me. You show me. I am sitting here. They, they are writing Prabhupada all one. They are not writing. They are going to express their own capacity. That's why their preacher is, preaching is not actual preaching. This way, finally, Parampujivat. Narthamadas, Narthamananda Brahmachari took sannyas from, took sannyas from, took sannyas from, took sannyas from Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. In the year of 1936, I think, if I am not making any mistake, so many date I need to remember. <laughs> so, if I am not mistaken, I mean, you know, he took sannyas. And Siddhar Goswami Maharaj was very, very, in intelligent, he used to keep the honor of Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada, Prabhupada already gave one Gaur Ashirvad Patra, you know, one certificate. You don't know. In a Gaur Purnima day, Gaur Purnima day, every year, Prabhupada used to confer some title to somebody according to their mode of seva. According to the mode of seva, Prabhupada used to confirm. My Guru Maharaj was given Pratyavidya 
Lankar. This way, after that, uh, you know, different title Prabhupada giving. Hello, you know, different title. So he was given Bhakti Kamal. Prabhupada writing one certificate and give in honor of that devotee. Bhakti Kamal with sign of Prabhupada, one certificate. So Siddhar Maharaj is very, very intelligent. Siddhar Maharaj is going to give honor to Prabhupada. So while giving sannyas to that Narottama, Narottama, Narottamananda Brahmachari, while giving sannyas, while giving sannyas to, while giving sannyas to Narottamananda Brahmachari, Siddhar Maharaj giving the title, Sila Bhakti Kamal Madhusudan Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Kamal Madhusudan Maharaj. Bhakti Kamal. Because Prabhupada already gave Bhakti Kamal. Bhakti Kamal. This way, Prabhupada, Siddhar Maharaj giving title. And not only that, I like to speak so many things, but time cannot permit. Try to hear about the glories of our Guru Bhargava. You can dance. You have taken, you have taken initiation from this lineage of Gauriya Mat. It should be very powerful. You are hearing all Gauriya Katha. All Gauriya Katha, all Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada. So, you must be very careful. So, he used to love Siddhar Maharaj very much. He used to honor. Most of the time, he used to go to Siddhar Maharaj to hear Harikatha. And Siddhar Maharaj also giving different kind of seva to him. Like editing of Sarasat Gauriyamat, Siddhar Maharaj Mat, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj Mat. From there, uh, Gauriya Patrika. No, Gauriya Patrika, no. Uh, it is called Bhagavad Patrika like this, I forget. Bhagavad Siddhanta, I forget this. Name of the Patrika, they are publishing. So he was, he was made, he was made the editor of that Patrika. Siddharma was speaking, my God brother, you are a great editor. Because you already walked, walked there with a newspaper man. Great editor. So Siddhar Maharaj giving this honor to him. He can be like Madhav Goswami Maharaj giving honor to my Guru Maharaj. He was the editor of he was the editor of you know, Chaitanya Bani. My Guru Padmanu was the editor of Gauriya Patrika. I can show you the title. Pratvidya Ratna Pramod Bhushan Chakravarti. Pramad Bhushan Chakravarti, Pratyavidya Latna. <laughs> this way, so he was the editor of that Patrika, huh? Bhagavad Patrika. And after that, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj requesting that my god brother, if you could guide the Navadip Dham Parikama party, well, yes, I can do. So, I'm very happy if you can do, because I know your responsibility. Siddhar Maharaj giving responsibility to Bhakti Gaon Mahasun Goswami Maharaj. To guide the whole preaching, uh, no, uh, uh, Parikrama party. Because by that time, Siddhar Maharaj was uh, not so healthy, the health was not good. Health was not so good. He used to speak Harikatha. Bhakti Gun Mahasun Goswami is guiding the whole, you know, whole the Parikrama party. Oh, seven, ten days, continuously guiding, speaking Harikatha, Kirtan. Siddhar Goswami Maharaj was so happy. Siddhar Goswami was speaking. We can get many sevak in this material world, but they are not actually sevak. A sevak like you, a sevak like you, is very, 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 very rare. I'm very happy. I'm not feeling any tension. It is because of your guidance. It is because of your guidance I'm not feeling any disturbance. I'm doing my bhajan only for you. I'm tension free. Whatever responsibility you are getting, whatever responsibility you are taking, you are going to complete. Whatever responsibility you are taking, on your soldier, 
uh, shoulder, whatever responsibility you are going to take on your shoulder, you are going to complete. That is your speciality. I am very happy, my God brother, I am very happy. After that, Maharaj started preaching nicely. Onward, Maharaj, you know, started making disciples also. So many disciples. I have very close relationship. Now at present we cannot meet. There is one Maharaj. Uh, there in Mithapukur, Vardhaman. He is also Acharya Maharaj. He used to love me very much. Still today he loves me. But I have no time to go. He used to respect me. Very, very, very. I love him very much. Anyway, his character of Siddhanta is all okay. Perfect. And all other disciples, they are staying near Godrum Deep, so many. They love me, respect me. I don't know why. I have not, no capacity, no quality. Anyway, so this way Maharaj started preaching. Maharaj always used to... Maharaj, it was the, it was the speciality, it was the speciality of Srila Maharaj. Whenever Maharaj speaking any Harikatha, Maharaj used to Maharaj used to quote one Maharaj used to quote one example from Bhagavatam. Follow. Whatever topics Maharaj speaking, Maharaj used to take one uh, in, you know, one uh, one an example from Bhagavatam and try to fit with the topics discussion. Very nice. Very nice, well, a very great devotee. And when, <clears throat> when it was possible for Bhakti Jyotam Madhav Goswami Maharaj to recover, you know, re-establish the Avirva place of Prabhupada, we are very happy. Then in the open function, our Bhakti Kumar Goswami was shouting and speaking, I have so many God brothers, I have so many God brothers, even their financial capacity is also sound capacity. They have sound financial capacity, but still they are not going to take any initiative to re-establish, recover the place, birthplace of Prabhupada. It is only Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj. We are very happy. He is a great devotee. Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj is unparalleled and unbeaten. Prabhupada was so satisfied. Prabhupada was, Prabhupada was satisfied with him so much, so that he was the only person. He got the responsibility to recover that place, which was next to impossible. Which was next to impossible. Which was next to impossible. But it was possible by the mercy of Prabhupada. So today, we go to your devotee, have the chance. I first, whenever I go to Puri for Harikatha, I first drop in station. First drop in station, maybe four four o'clock, super fast ten, first of all. I I go by walking to my Guru Maharaj's place. First I go to Guru Maharaj's place. There I take bath and sitting in the room of Guru Maharaj, where Guru Maharaj left his body, there I do bhajan. After three, four hours, from there, without taking any water, without taking even water. I go take darshan of Jagannath Balaji Subhadda Radha Madan Mohan because I was also one of the candidates who went to Jaipur to bring Radha Madan Mohan, Bigra. From there I first go to Prabhupada place, second. First I go to Prabhupada, I Guru Maharaj. Second I go to Prabhupada. Then I put my luggage there, do parikram and payment, uh, pranam to Prabhupada. Then I put the luggage again, I, without water, I go to Jagannath, I go take darshan of Jagannath, then I drink water. Whatever time, whatever amount of time it takes. First of all, I can go to Guru Maharaj, walking, no car. From station, I go to Guru Maharaj, walking, uh, maybe two kilometers, I walk, uh, very easy. I can walk uh, 40 kilometers in this age, very easily. Even this age, uh, 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers. So I go there. There I do and pray to my Guru Maharaj, I'm a fallen soul, you please save me. I'm falling down. If you don't give me kippah, how I can uh, sustain in bhajan, how I can live? Then I gave it begging kippah, I go to Prabhupada, Prabhupada kippah, then I go to Jagannath. And before entering Jagannath, I paid Dandavat to 
Shadasip, Kashi Vishwanath, just in the left hand side. When you enter from the main gate, you know, you have seen the main gate of Jagannath, na? Main gate? Main gate, if you look, if you look main gate, you can see Patit Pavan Jagannath, you know? Patit Pavan Jagannath? Just you cross Patit Pavan Jagannath, go inside little bit, left hand side, Kashi Vishwanath. Kashi Vishwanath. I paid on the wall. After that, I go and meet Nishingadev in the gate, in a main temple. Pay. Then after do Parikram, at least one, then I enter the Jagannath temple. I have no eyes to see Jagannath, what I can see. But still I go. This way, Bhakti Komal Mohsun Goswami Maharaj, a great devotee. Those who are going to make some underestimate about him, surely they are fallen soul. Maybe they are not going to foreign country. Sridhar is not going to foreign country. Bhakti Pramod Puri is not going to foreign country. Bhakti Dhritya Madhu is not going to foreign country. So what? So what? The great preacher, the great... They are... I started with the point, na? Itself they are... Itself they are behavior, Siddhanta Vichar. They are totally established in the Acharan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They are totally established in the Acharan, Adarsha, Idealism of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So how you can say that they are not great feature? Because Prabhupada already told. Those who are established in, in the Acharan, Adarsha, Idealism of Prabhupada and uh, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they are the topmost feature. So don't think that way. Out of jealousy, you should not speak that way. So, uh, next day I can discuss about how to follow Bhagavad Dharma? How to follow Bhagavad Dharma under the guidance, under the hundred percent guidance of Guru Padma? That I can discuss next day. Tasmad Guru Prapadeta Jigyasu Sriamuttamam Shabde Parecha Nishnatam Brahmani Upasamasram. Today. Next day I can discuss and the slok you can remember, I forget. Today also. Yesterday I discussed one slok, na? Hey no? Achajyor aranir adyo shad Achajyor aranir adyo shad Ante bhaoshi Uttararani Tat pravachanam sandhyanam Vidda sandhi shukhavho And next day, I can, you can remember me. I forget. This slok and another slok I can discuss. Very important slok. Tatro bhagavad dharmana shikshet gurvatma daivataha This slok I can discuss next day. You can remind me, I forget. Whole time I am going on. Mancha Kalpadura Sikhi Basindu Bhavacha Patitanam Kvabana Bhavishnu. I forget. I think I can discuss. In course of discussion, I forget. Yesterday I uh, speak one special slok. I should discuss. 